Hi, uh, it's Tim Minchin here. Welcome to the next instalment of Sydney Theatre Company Virtual, where actors perform little pieces of plays from the comfort of their houses in order to try to stop themselves going insane. Uh, I'm um, going to do for you a, a little monologue from a, a little known play called Hamlet, uh, written by William Shakespeare. Uh, I really love Hamlet which is uh, very original of me. I got to play him once in a little pro-am production in Perth in my early 20s, and, and, and once you've had those words under your tongue, it's kind of addictive and you just want to do it again. I suspect I won't get to play Hamlet again in my lifetime due to the fact that I'm a little bit old and not good enough. But uh, uh, Kit said, do what you like, so I'm seizing this opportunity to have uh, another crack at one of these monologues. The, this, the monologue is called, known as the rogue and peasant slave bit. Uh, it, it's the part of the play where Hamlet has been watching the players, the actors, theatre actors perform uh, just before he gets the idea to try and trap his uncle by, by getting the play within a play going. And he's just reflecting on how incredible it is that, that this actor that he's been watching can express himself and have such passion and intent in a fictional sense when he, Hamlet, with all the motive in the world to be passionate and intense and active, uh, can't, can't do diddly squat because he's all up in his, up in his noggin. Um, I, hope, I hope you're all surviving isolation. For those of you working and surviving with kids, I feel ya. Uh, for those of you um, that have been put out of work by this, um, my heart goes out to you. I just hope you're looking after your bodies and your brains and um, all my love. Oh, what a rogue and peasant slave am I. Is it not monstrous that this player here, but in a fiction, in a dream of passion, could force his soul so to his own conceit that from her working all his visage wand, tears in his eyes, distraction in his aspect, a broken voice, and his whole function suiting with forms to his conceit, and all for nothing. For Hecuba! <laughs> what is Hecuba to him? Or he to Hecuba that he should weep for her? What would he do had he the motive and the cue for passion that I have? Well, he would drown the stage with tears and cleave the general ear with horrid speech and make mad the guilty and appall the free, confound the ignorant and amaze indeed the very faculties of eyes and ears. Yet I, a dull and muddy metal rascal, peak like John of Dreams, I'm pregnant of my cause and can say nothing. No, not for a king upon whose property and most dear life a damned defeat was made. Am I a coward? Who calls me villain, breaks my pate across, plucks out my beard and blows it in my face, tweaks me by the nose, gives me the lie in the throat as deep as the lungs. Who does me this? <laughs> Swoons, I should take it. For it cannot be, but I am pigeon-livered and lack gall to make oppression bitter. Or ere this, I should have fatted all the region's kites with this slave's offal. Bloody body villain! Remorseless, treacherous, lecherous, kindness, villain, no vengeance! <laughs> oh, what an ass am I? This is most brave. 
that I, the son of a dear father murdered, prompted to my revenge by heaven and hell, must like a whore unpack his heart with words and fall a cursing like a very drap, a scallion fire upon it foe. about my brain. There you go. That was that. Uh, thank you very much for watching Sydney Theatre Company Virtual. Uh, just want to take this opportunity uh, to say if you are one of the lucky ones and you're in a financial position to do so uh, and you're looking for ways to help, please consider donating some money to the STC or to any of the theatre companies in this country. They're always getting by on an oily rag, but they're, they're going to be really struggling uh, by the end of this year. Um, or uh, the Arts Wellbeing Collective could do with your money, or the Actors Benevolent Trust, or any of the institutions that um, look after the mental health and financial well-being of artists who are struggling through this time. Thanks so much. Take care.